Happy Monday. Happy Blessing Day. Today's the day that everybody calls to get the blessing spoken over them. The spoken blessing. We're talking about the blessing and we're using this book. The best book ever written about the blessing. Except for the Bible, of course. And this book will tell you not only about the blessing, but how to get it. How to have the God's God's blessing to come upon you. It's, it's absolutely a life changer. I want to bless our country today. God gave the priests, the pastors, the prophets, the authority to speak the blessing over the country and over the people. And so in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I say the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you, give you peace. Our country is blessed. And in the name of Jesus, I want to do this video for you today to bring God's word to you today in the name of Jesus. Oh, praise God, huh? Praise God for the wonderful name of Jesus. The name that is above all name. The name that, that heals, that blesses. The name that causes the power of God to come upon people, to get them what they need. We have had some incredible miracles. Uh, somebody called me just recently and his father had had his colon burst. And of course, you know, that spills all kinds of bad stuff into the abdomen. And the doctors apparently didn't really give him any chance. And he called me. And I spoke that he would live and not die. That he would be healed. And he recovered. And everybody is amazed. But me. Everybody, because we have had so many miracles here lately. I'm telling you, just, it's like miracles over the phone. You call me. You need a miracle? We can make it happen through the power in the name of Jesus. And we glorify Jesus. We want the, we want the name of Jesus to be glorified in us. And that's what we do it for. And God is glorified every time his son is glorified. Praise God, huh? I'm telling you, the church has gotten away from this, but I haven't. I am still doing what the healing evangelists did in the 40s and the 50s, way back, 70, 70 years ago, there was a healing revival. It's, I, I got news for you. I'm still doing it. I'm still doing it. I wasn't there then, but I'm here now, and I'm keeping it going. Because the power of God still heals. Just like it did in the book of Acts. Just like it did when Jesus was on this earth. Nothing has changed except people's faith. But once in a while, somebody pops up who has faith for it. I'm not the only one. But I'm the only one you can talk to. Because none of any anybody else who can do this is not available. But I am. Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. Everything I touch turns to gold. Everything always works out for me. Everything always works out for me. I'm a wonderful person. I'm a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor. Glory to God, huh? That person you heard in the background got me this shirt. Is this nice? That's the nicest shirt. That's the nicest shirt you ever seen, isn't it? Yeah. Look at this, huh? <laughs> is this a is this the cutest thing you ever saw, huh? I think so. I think so. She was hitchhiking out there by the road. I just picked her up. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to keep this one. I'm good. I picked up a lot of hitchhikers, 
but I dropped them all off. Not this one. I said, I'm going to keep this one, huh? Glory to God. Make sure you call me today to get your word for word blessing. The truth of the matter is, she's the reason we do this. She's the reason for all this that's going on. She's the reason for everything we have. She is the one who is blessed by God. Huh? I'm just taking all of them. Find somebody who is blessed and hang on to them. I knew when I met her 35 years ago, she was blessed by the Lord. And I said, I'm hanging on to this one. And she's still blessed by the Lord. Huh? People thought she had a direct line to the Lord. People used to tell me, I want, I want to talk to Mary. She has a direct line to God. People used to tell me that. Huh? I said, okay, I'll tell her I'll call you. Praise God, huh? Make sure you please share this video with everybody you know. We're talking about the black. We're reading this blessing book. And right now, we've been doing this for, this is our third week, and we're on page eight already. So we're getting there. Huh? We only got like, what, 700 more pages to go. I don't know how many pages are in here. How many? Let's see. 184. So we got a ways to go. But I'll tell you what. This book, what I'm, I'm doing it this way for two reasons. Number one, I want to build my faith for the blessing. I have decided to take God's blessing in my life up a few levels. And in the meantime, I'm going to take your faith for the blessing. Because we, once the blessing is spoken over you, you will operate in the blessing according to the amount of faith you have. So if I increase your faith for the blessing, the blessing will increase in your life. Hmm? Make sure you call me today. Glory to God. And if you know anybody that's sick, please tell them to call. Because I'll get them healed right over the phone. Blessings happen. Healing happens. Everything happens right over the phone. Anything I can do in, in person, I can do over the phone. Because the Holy Spirit has no boundaries. No boundaries. The blessing of Abraham on Abraham. Abraham was the first one to have the blessing of Abraham. The blessing that we have upon us is actually the blessing of Abraham. But now, let's talk about the person who had it first. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to 3. The Lord said to Abram, Abram was his name at the time, A-B-R-A-M, not Abraham, Abram. Get, leave your country and your family and go from your father's house unto a land that I will show you. And I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you and make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. Now here, as we go through this, you're going to see the purpose for God's blessing. The purpose for God's blessing is so that Abraham could be a blessing. And he has been such an incredible blessing over the years, over the years. What is it, 4,000 years? And he's still being a blessing. And he will be a blessing to us for all eternity. And when you get to heaven, you will call him Father Abraham. Not our heavenly father, but he's our spiritual father. He's our father in the faith. And he will, his title will be Father Abraham. Not Father God, Father Abraham. He says, and I will make of you a great nation. Abraham has been made into a great nation. The Jewish people are all from Abraham. He said, and I will bless you. God, notice God didn't say, I bless you now. He said, I will bless you. That blessing came a little bit later. I'll show you. We're going we're gonna to get into that too. I will make your name great. Make your name great is means that people will know who you are. Do you want to be successful? If you want to be successful, people have to know who you are. When I first got a hold of the blessing, very few people knew who I was. Now that we've gotten a hold of the blessing, people all over the world know who I am. People carry my books around churches all over the country. That's why all of our books are yellow 
They're all the same color. All these different books that we wrote are all based in the same color, even with different titles. And the reason we do that is so that when people in churches are carrying them around, everybody can see they have one of Pastor Jim's books. Pretty smart, huh? That yellow book is kind of like our, our trademark, isn't it, Mary? Yeah. We do our sign, our sign in front of the church, bright yellow. Everything we do is bright yellow to attract attention. That's why Dollar General has a bright yellow sign. It attracts attention. And we attract attention. And God said to Abraham, I will make your name great. The people in our church who have gotten a hold of the blessing, people know who they are too. Some of our partners who have gotten a hold of the blessing, their name is growing all the time. As you grow in the blessing, your name will grow. He says, now, now look what God says to Abraham. He said, I will bless them who bless you and curse them who curse you. And in you shall all families of the earth be blessed. God said, I will bless those people who bless you. Everybody who blesses a blessed person will become blessed themselves. Everybody who curses a blessed person will become cursed. Mary, a few years ago, was working at the dollar store. And she had this manager who was just horrible to her and mean to her and nasty to her. And she was nasty to everybody. She didn't just pick out Mary. She was just plain nasty. But Mary's life was miserable there at the dollar store working for her. But Mary liked the dollar store, so she was going to see it through. And she's not a quitter. And I told her, I said, honey, I said, you need to pray for that woman. Because she has cursed you, and she will curse herself. Every time she speaks bad to you, it's coming right back to her. And I'm telling you what, it wasn't long, and that woman destructed it's just self-destructed. No, nobody did anything to her. She just self-destructed and she lost everything she had. She became cursed because she cursed a blessed person. I'm telling you what, you there's stuff going on right now I can't talk about because I'm already on double secret probation. But there's stuff going on. If you call me on the phone, I'll tell you about it. You cannot curse a blessed person. I got a whole list of people who have been cursed because they cursed blessed people. I can tell you, I'll tell you about it on the phone when you call me. You call me and ask me about it. I'll tell you, I'll tell you who they are. I'll tell but I can't talk about it on, on social media. But there's a bunch of them, folks. There's a bunch of them. He, and, and there's a, and we are blessed because we bless blessed people. Don't we, Mary? Yeah. We're very careful to bless, bless people. God said, do not touch my anointed. Do my anointed no harm. Everybody that has tried to do us harm has, just, has come to destruction, has self-destructed. Some people came against us in our church one time, a few, several years ago. Tried, literally tried to destroy our church. Every one of those people died a horrible death, except for one person who we think just followed along out of ignorance. One person just got caught up through and deceived. And God has great mercy for ignorance. The other people were not ignorant. They, they were actively participating in, in trying to destroy our ministry and our church. And they came to ruin. And we prayed for him. But but God's word is true, folks. Anybody who curses you will curse themselves. Make sure you call me today to receive the word for word blessing. I want to bless you because you people are blessed. And I want you to bless other people. And I want people and people will bless you all over the country. I am determined you're going to live a curse-free, blessed life. And I will use the power in the name of Jesus to make it happen for you.